We start in South Sudan, where the government says it plans to hold elections next year as scheduled in the 2015 peace agreement. Juba says failure to hold the elections could create a vacuum that would create more disagreements and balance in the country. CGTN's Patrick Oyet reports. The unity government vows to go ahead with elections in 2018 before the end of the transitional period. Juba says elections would be the only option to put in place a government after the interim period. It insists it would send a clear message to those who have chosen violence as a means to obtain power that a peaceful way to leadership in South Sudan is possible through a democratic process. The government here says failure to hold elections would create a vacuum since the interim period would end and there would be no legitimate administration to take over. South Sudan is not an exception. There had been insecurity all over the world. Nevertheless, elections are run. So you cannot take insecurity to be an excuse for not running the elections. Some political analysts, however, say the unity government should instead focus on bringing peace back to the country. They say that organizing free, fair and credible elections need time. But Juba says all is set for the country to go to the polls. Patrick Foyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.